Hello everyone, Penny here from That's Just Penny and I'm super excited to be with you guys today and this whole entire month for Meeting God in the Garden and um, I'll be posting today off and on. I'll try to post and not bug you guys but when we set up getting the devotion going for this month, it'll be a little bit of introduction and that's what this is. So I hope you come and join us. Uh, it, there's tons of things that we're going to be uh, presenting. A lot of us are. And today starts off the very first day of Meeting God in the Garden. It's a devotional and it has scripture lists. It has all kinds of paper crafts to create. And don't worry if you cannot print you can still participate. There are tons of things for you to do, to look up, to view. And if you can't print, you can contact me and we can work something out. Okay. Because I want everyone to be involved. There's a lot going on in it. There, it is the PDF that I've shared with you guys is nowhere else. This is the only group that it is going to be in as a gift of love from me to you. And it will be uh, shown later on to the public once I finish everything that I need to do with it. But for this group, I wanted to share my absolute best that I could. And I know it took a little bit of long of presenting, getting it out there to you guys. I do apologize, but I hope the wait was really worth it. And I want to thank everyone that was behind the scenes and involved and encouraging me to keep going. And that helps me uh, to be encouraged, to be inspired, to know that, hey, look, what I am doing is people do want to participate with me and people do want to uh, read about the topic that um, Sherry and everyone was uh, in, in doing. And anyway, but I just wanted to come on to introduce as the introductory uh, present presentation video so uh, i was a little late due to uh, the internet where it's storming but i have posted several posts in the group there is an album in the group in the underneath there you know underneath the banner of the group the beautiful picture there is where you can um on my mobile device if you click if you see the banner of the group the beautiful picture if you click on the three dots or three lines at the top left if you're on mobile, then that will show you where the albums are. If you're on a computer, of course, it will be in the media tab underneath the banner of the pic uh, banner of the group. Okay, just to let you know. So there is an album set up for you to view the the JPEGs, uh, and then there is uh, also which is photos. Also, there is the link in there for you to download the entire PDF that you. Want, need. There's also a link as well, I do believe, to the folder, I think, the main folder of the Google Drive folder, where you can get more things, because there is some uh, vintage uh, flowers prints that I would like to share with you as well. So let's get started. Let me show you what is uh, introductory for today, and let me go through the kit, and I'll turn the camera down to show you my table. All right, so here is the cover. It is sunshine yellow, right? I love the yellow. It says, Meeting God in the Garden. It is the devotional. And you can actually use these pages, right, in your in what we're going to be making. If you print this out and you're like, well, this is a whole lot. It is. Just kind of go through and print what you like, what you want to do, what you want to participate in. Not everybody can print, and I understand that. But you can still view it, hopefully, on your computer um, or on your device. If you're having issues, just message me, okay? And I'll help you out. So it was meant for you to print number one as is. Do not fill the page, just print as is. Or if you're printing, you know, through something else, it'll be default. So make sure you print as is. Make sure that you print both sides. It was designed for you to print both sides, okay? So I laid it out to where there's no problems with front and back, okay? Because a lot of the items, uh, I did that way particularly, you know, specifically. So we'll find that out, okay? So meeting guard in the garden. So print front to back. Print as is. Do not fill the page. Do not add any margins or anything like just default margins, default printing, okay? Because I've already got it set up. Just easy print it. So this is meeting God in the garden. This is our scripture list. There's four there's five weeks. So there's five weeks of scriptures going on. There should be seven uh every a scripture every day. And I'm excited. Our little plot over here um, for our little garden plant. 
So again, and this is on the back, so when I'm flipping, you'll understand what I meant. Print. It's designed that way, okay? So no worries. Meeting God in my in the garden is what it should say. Um, but um, anyway, so it has all the weeks listed. It has the top, the subtopics, and it has what we're going to create. So let's go over this really quickly. This is the introduction video. All right, so week one, introduction, God in my in my garden. All right, so meeting God in the garden, I believe. No, it says God in my gardens. Okay, um, so for the introduction, I have a fun little scavenger hunt for you. Okay, super excited about that. Then for the week one, the devotion part is my healing garden and what i'm going to be doing for this first week is showing you about a junk journal what a junk journal is how to make one what supplies that you can use from your everyday life and this is part of the healing garden process uh, we're going to be creating a journal so a junk journal we're going to be creating it from scratch okay so i have a list of things already posted and we'll go over it here of what you need to collect if you want to participate in making a junk journal with me and there is a little bit of sewing involved um you don't have to but there's other ways that we can you can do a traveler's notebook pre-made signature if you want to as well but we're going to be using building it from scratch so that you can use and recycle repurpose right the items from your everyday life okay and then there's coloring page right so we're going to be getting into the sections of week one which um the subsections we have a uh, watered garden we're going to be discussing a morning glory we're going to be going into cultivate to heal the spade work hand and knee work okay so introduction god in my garden we have a scavenger hunt whoop, whoop. i'm excited for the little scavenger hunt it's already posted you don't have to print it it's all the image is posted there you can uh, view it. I'm trying to get to it right now. So this is the devotion. And please uh, read. The, I can read. The, we'll go over the introduction. It's quite long for the introduction. Um, but I may read it to you here as well. So that some of you uh, can't download a print. So this is our little scavenger hunt. Um, and these were meant as journaling cards. So if I print like I'm supposed to, it will have these on the front and then this grid on the back, okay? And so our first one that we can find, there's only four. I didn't do seven for every day um, because we, there's a lot going on, right? So in our garden, in the scriptures, these are little journal cards. So this week, we're going to be finding an animal. And we're going to encounter that animal. We're going to discuss the animal. And we're going to pray, right? So, our first one is an animal. Our second one could be, you can go in alphabetical order if you want to. But the next one is a cloud, a bug, and a butterfly, okay? And there is the encounters, the discuss, and the pray. Praying regarding all of those items in your garden so this is the scavenger hunt so if you participate in the scavenger hunt there is a post in the group already with this image and you can comment underneath that post okay so if you see this image you want to join the scavenger hunt and you want to put down uh i'll, I'll do a, a little sample so you can put down uh the scavenger hunt about um how many animals do you see and that kind of thing. So I'll set that up for you. So don't worry about that. I'll set that up, preset that up for you guys. Okay. So the introduction, since that, like I said, I'm going to go ahead, I think, and read, right? And we'll get into, uh, I already posted what to say for the junk journal. Don't worry. There's instructions in here about what a junk journal is. We'll go over all that in a bit. I don't want to overwhelm you at one time so let's just do the introduction video there will be another video when we get into the actual my healing garden okay day one day two day three i will do a day one another video so look for that all right so this is video number one for day number one there'll be video number two for day number one as well have you ever taken the time to sit in your garden 
I would say my backyard, okay, because I'm in a rural area. If you're in the country, you can say field, but have you ever taken the time just to sit with a cup of tea on the porch or in the grass or outside and in your garden and truly observe its beauty? If you have, you may have noticed a certain sense of peace and tranquility that radiates from every corner. It is almost as if the garden itself is alive and its life is a gentle reminder of the beauty and goodness that God provides. But have you ever considered the possibility that there may be something even more extraordinary hiding in the garden? Sometime, something, that is both, something that is both ancient and eternal and yet so subtle and delicate that only the most keen and attuned eyes can perceive it. That something, my friend, is God. Yes, God, he is there, right in your garden, sitting quietly and patiently, waiting for you to notice his presence. But how can you see God in your garden, you may ask? How can you perceive something that is so inclusive and intangible? The answer is simple. You need to train your eyes. And that's what the scavenger hunt is about. Just like an athlete trains their body to perform at the best you need to train your eyes to be to see beyond the physical and so and into the spiritual so beyond physical into the spiritual aspect you need to learn how to look at your garden with a sense of confidence and awe to observe every blade of grass every flower every insect every weed every rock and every bird within the garden good or bad and when you do when you begin to notice the subtle signs of God's presence all around you, you will feel his breath in the gentle breeze that rustles the leaves of your trees. You will hear his voice and the chirping of the birds and the buzzing of the bees. You will see his light and the colors of the flowers and the patterns of the butterflies. You will see the beauty of ashes. Again, when you finally see God in your garden, you will realize that your garden is no longer just a collection of plants and trees, but a sacred space that connects you to the divine. You will feel a sense of joy and peace that transcends all understanding, and your garden will become a branch from the vine, a portal to the throne of grace. So take the time to train your eyes, my friend. Sit in your garden, observe its beauty, and look for the signs of God's presence. And when you see him there in the quiet and gentle stillness of your garden, you will know that you have found a precious treasure, a gift beyond measure. One of the most beautiful and fulfilling experiences that I have in life is spending time in my garden, in my backyard. <laughs> There's something truly heavenly about being surrounded by the beauty of God with his vibrant colors, sweet fragrances, and the gentle sounds of birds chirping and leaves rustling in the breeze. In leaves rustling in the breeze a gentleman dressed in splendor but what makes my experience in the garden my backyard truly special is the fact that i see god in it for me my garden is not just a collection of plants and flowers or a backyard but a rooted growth space that connects me to the divine through the vine it is a place where i can feel god's presence and appreciate his love and beauty in a tangible way. Where can I meditate on the fulfillment that Jesus gave to all believers? To the great commission, to the comforter that abides with us and we in him? I want to share this experience with you and help you see God in your own garden. It is my hope that you too can find joy, peace, and a deeper sense of spirituality by connecting with God through seeing him in everything around you. Expecting the true seed and abiding in Jesus, the vine. So let me tell you where and how I find God in my garden. I see him in the way the sunlight filters through the leaves, creating patterns of light and shadow on the ground. I see him in the way the flowers bloom, each one a unique and beautiful creation. I see him in the way the birds fly and sing, each one a reminder of the beauty and diversity of God's creation. Seeing every detail of the master's touch brings me assurance that he handles the little things in my life, to the most precious, to the most horrible of droughts. But seeing God in your garden requires more than just observing. It requires an open and receptive heart, 
a willingness to, con to connect with God on a deeper level, a humbleness of subjection and maturity, a humble and sometimes contract spirit. It requires taking the time to sit sit and be still to listen to his voice, to listen to the, to the worship of the wind and the songs of praise from the birds, to feel the warmth of the sun on your skin and to appreciate the beauty and wonder of the master's touch. So I invite you to join me in this journey of discovery and connection with God. Take the time to explore your garden, to observe its beauty, and to look for the signs of God's presence. And when you find him there in the quiet and gentle stillness of your garden, you will know that you have found a precious treasure, a gift beyond measure. If we imagine our ways and dive deep into our hearts and minds, we can also explore the depths of our spiritual hearts. Sometimes the state of our spiritual garden is dependent on the state of our soul garden. Scavenger hunt. To help us see God in our gardens, I have for you a little challenge. A scavenger hunt of the spiritual and physical gardens of your life. In the following pages, you will find the scavenger hunt journaling cards. Journaling cards are cards that you, in the case, cut out, read, reflect, then journal on the back of the card your response. Then place the journaling card in one of your garden projects. And we already showed you the image. Didn't I? Where'd it go? <laughs> Here's our image. Woo! No. Sorry. I have lost my scavenger hunt. Okay, so this is the image of our scavenger hunt. All right. So I hope you do come and join me. I hope you uh, come and check out all of the the paper crafts that we got going on, the little challenges throughout, and um, pray for each every one of us. Sherry posted a prayer for this week, a prayer schedule for this week. Please check back with that. And uh, today, please uh, remember. Uh, everything for day for this whole entire week remember each and every one of us that is working behind the scenes and please pray for each other please pray for all the members uh, in the group and for this uh, devotion please pray that it will go forth and I pray right now in the name of Jesus for every one of us that our ears be open that our eyes will uh, read and our minds will receive and our heart will believe in the word of God today and we will pray and worship today and get in there abiding in Christ and I pray for each every one of you if you need he the manifestation of the healing if you need financial needs if you need family needs if you have study needs the, if there's things that are on your heart I pray for you and I pray that the Lord will the, the God will send the increase to you and allow you to start seeing God in your garden and allow yourself to start meeting him there in your garden and i will in the name of jesus amen thank you for uh watching this introductory video to week one of the may's devotion and scripture writing uh for this month it is jam-packed we will continue like i said day one week one has two videos this is the first one i'll see you in the next one have a wonderful day everyone and god bless